soul family what's going on this is the phoenix cloud tarot thank you so much for joining me my name is isa i'm your friendly neighborhood intuitive oracle slash tarot reader and i'm doing the darn thing today for cancer sun moon rising venus and the cross watcher thank you so much for joining me if it's your first time welcome to the tarot dome and if it's not your first time welcome back to the tarot dome it is really good to see you fam Thank you so much for your love, your likes, and your support. I really do truly, truly appreciate it. I'm coming up on my one year, um, and a lot of great things have happened in the last year, and it's because of you guys. So thank you so much. Guys, this is going to be very, very general energy, so please keep that in mind, okay? This read this month is going to be a little different than I usually do. I'm actually going to be clarifying and doing the tarot reading off of my oracle cards, which normally, you know, if you're around here plenty enough, I do my pre-shuffle with that and then I get into the tarot, but I found that this is a really, really beautiful kind of read and an interesting way and I'm always learning new things and wanting to incorporate them. So this month for July, we're going to go a little bit deeper. I'm going to talk about these oracle cards and then we're going to go ahead and clarify, okay? So please keep in mind the energy is very general. That means that some of this is going to resonate. Maybe none of it will. I don't really know, but take what resonates for you. Leave what doesn't. And if nothing resonates at all, check your moon and rising signs. And if those don't tickle your pickle, then definitely check another reader because I just may not be your person this time around. And that's the way it goes sometimes. Okay, guys. So, and we get it as readers. I do want to say very quickly that I am not taking any personal readings at this time. This is just going to be through part of July. I'm taking a little bit of vacation. I've been kind of grinding away for a year. So it's time for me to just kind of relax a little bit and, you know, get, get that breather. Okay. So I can get a new energy. Um, I do also want to say anything you need to know about me is going to be in the description box below, like the cards I use in the readings, following me on Facebook, Instagram, that kind of stuff. Okay, guys. And last but not least, if you like this video, please go ahead and like this video, show your girls some love. And if you really, really like it, please go ahead and subscribe, become part of the tribe. All right, guys. Thank you so much for letting me get through that and let's now get to the reading, okay? So the first card that I have out, guys, it's very interesting for you, Cancer. I have two chakra cards. Uh, the first one out is the crown chakra. And this is really that um, connection with the divine, connection with the all, connection with spirit or God. So I feel like here in July, some of you are really getting back to that reconnecting, right? Either through prayer, meditation, whatever your spiritual practice is. I get that some of you are very much seeking this um, and maybe very curious and in the question where your kind of connection lies, right? And some of you, I feel like you're going a little bit deeper into this crown chakra. Others, you know, like as a whole, I feel like you guys are feeling very intuitive um, and, and there's this, like, this sense of, like, I'm getting direction, but I'm getting divine inspiration and I'm getting my direction through that divine inspiration, okay? So many of you may be exploring new avenues when it comes to your religious or your spiritual perspective, all right? Or even going, diving a little bit deeper. I then have this prosperity begins. Oh, I do want to say really quick. Some of you might have the chakra off, so you're having trouble connecting, right? Like really um, just sort of connecting with spirit. And there, there are a lot of like meditations, even sounds that you can use that will help to sort of heal the chakra if the chakra is really low. Um, you can even do things like uh, placing your hand over your heart or even out to source and um, using your hand over your head right? And letting that divine white light come in and sort of expand that chakra. There's a lot, a lot of support online and through uh, meditation and different apps that you can use to kind of realign your chakras if you're feeling very off and a little less connected, okay? Now, um, we have the number one card, Prosperity Begins, okay? So this feels very much like 
like a, a, an ace of pentacles for me as a reader. So this is like a brand new start for many of you or something you've planted just sort of coming to fruition now. So you may have worked on something in the past, either some sort of job, maybe a project, maybe, you know, some sort of, um, uh, you know, partnership coming together and planted something that has to do with work or finances. Um, it could even be a spiritual thing for some of you, but this, this, because it's red, it deals with the first chakra. So that deals with our security, our home safety, feeling okay, feeling provided for, all right? So some of you might actually be having a little bit of a shakeup in this area or have been, um, and many of you are now stepping into that sort of like prosperity is happening now. Things are coming through for you, okay? Really, really nice energy. A lot of us are having a very fresh start here in July, especially we've got some things opening up because of the COVID. So there's more abundance and more jobs available. Not that there ever wasn't, it's always there, right? But this is sort of like tapping into that now and this tree growing, right? It's something you cared for and this fruit now appearing, okay? Right next to it, beautiful energy again, foundations and achievements. Number four, all about the home. Again, this is about the home, it's about prosperity, it's about family. So some of you might have a lot of energy around building the home, buying a home, um, the energy of like settling in, some people are moving in together, this kind of thing, okay? But this is all about you having worked and, and created that foundation and now the fruition of that and the achievement. And we see that with the prosperity begins as well, okay? So really, really nice energy. A lot of you getting more stable in your home. For some of you, this could be a shake up in that or a change of that. Uh, but this feels more like a really positive energy, all right? So then we have the uh, throat chakra, and it's interesting because with this energy, we've made a slight progression from a one to a four to a five, which is the throat chakra. And this tells me that some of you could be really blocked in this throat chakra, having trouble speaking. And why I say that is because it's a five. Uh, when we look at the traditional numbers and corresponding tarot cards, with the rider weight, fives kind of always represent some sort of turmoil, shakeup, uh, things happening here, right? So this could be like somebody's inability right now, Cancer, to really have important conversations or share your internal dialogue in your head or even in, in yourself, like feelings and emotion-wise with other people, especially people that might be very close to you, okay? So I'm feeling like a lot of fear of having, telling people how you really feel or conversations, okay? Could feel a little bit scary. For others of you, I think you are expanding and you're opening up and you're having the important conversations, you're talking to people, you're reaching out to people um, and creating more connection here in your life in July, okay? So really, really nice energy. Either way, it's like breakthrough time. That's what I'm picking up for a lot of people. There have been a lot of shakeups and relationships and work and the things that kind of mean the most to us. So yeah, for some of you, it's like having trouble talking about those things that mean the most to you, okay? And even spirituality as well. Now, I also pulled a card. We're gonna go ahead and clarify all of this and what this means deeper okay if we get this a whole story uh, that kind of thing but i also have a soul's journey card for you and what that's going to look like or the energy that's going to be surrounding you or something that you know work that some of you may need to do like in going deeper in yourself and seeing something that maybe you haven't recognized that's been sort of stopping you in life or giving you a little bit of trouble and you guys have the judgment card and this is heavily attached again to like third eye and crown chakra okay so you could be thinking about it a lot um, and I want to read what the card says first before I go a little further it says I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges okay this is about accepting who you are 
as much as it is accepting about who others are in the world, right? So anytime we make a judgment, it's based on our own self. Anytime we decide that somebody is a certain way or somebody is a certain thing, it's us deciding those things about ourselves. However, not all of us have the awareness. And this purple for me is saying coming, it's like coming into the awareness that there's a possibility that some of you kind of live from this place um, and, and it's not in your awareness. It's sort of like a subconscious energy. So you might be feeling like, damn, people always judge me. People always say things about me and I'm not like that. But hidden deep within that, this is what this energy is saying. Somewhere hidden deep within that, it could be judgment about others or about yourself. Okay, somewhere in that. So it's just something to look at and explore here in July. All right. Now, let's go ahead and clarify these energies and see why we have the crown chakra and prosperity and the foundation and achievements, the throat chakra and what the judgment is about. Okay. Remember I said it's going to be a little bit different. Yes. All right, guys, so if you made it this far, thank you for sticking around. If you like it, please stick through it. Check it out. See what's going on here, okay? Go ahead and hit the like button. All right, Spirit, please tell us why we have the crown chakra here for uh, Cancer, please, in July. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher. Why do we have that throat chakra here? Please clarify why we have throat chakra here. Thank you. Ooh, okay. So, there's something I think you guys intuitively know, and it has to do with the relationship, okay? We have lovers in reverse and three of cups in reverse. So, I almost feel like for some of you, there's a connection that's over, okay? This karma card is very much like maybe understanding or discovering that you were in some sort of karmic partnership and now you have this realization like um, not, that it, not that it was all terrible, so to speak, right? Um, because there really is no sort of good and bad, but now that you're discovering that your happiness wasn't in this relationship that maybe you've just come out of or you're just discovering that there isn't the love and the connection here and the happiness that you thought there was, all right? So being in discovery that, finding out what your attachment was or is to a particular relationship, like why would you stay in a relationship when this stuff is in reverse here? This is a need to turn this around. So for some of you, I feel like you're understanding deeply this is all Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy, your energy, right? Maybe not feeling the happiness and the need to sort of like do this work and turn this around because part of your self-discovery here <clears throat> could be about judgment you placed on a particular person as well, all right? We'll get into it some more and see what else comes up. Spirit, tell us about Prosperity Begins, please. Guides and spirits, angels, please tell us about Prosperity Begins and clarify this for us so we can better understand for Cancer's highest good, why is Prosperity here? Yeah, man, I have got lots of stuff in reverse here. So we have Page of Cups, three of swords and the sun. Okay. So I'm feeling like emptiness, happiness gone. There's not, a, you know, there, there's an inability to see something here. Okay. There's not wanting to let somebody in or like let a rebirth happen. Okay. With the sun in reverse, it's like, you know, this can represent rebirths and bringing something to life again, happiness, um, you know, child. This could be the loss of a child for somebody, like maybe you had a pregnancy and you have a loss of a pregnancy here. But, you know, Page of Cups in reverse, it's like not, not wanting to let this message of love come through. So I think that some of you are dealing with a little bit of feeling like um, heartbroken, right? Um, 
and maybe this is you cancer like you're working through something and you're not trying to let somebody in but I feel like I wouldn't be surprised if like a hangman comes out here um, really interesting I feel like some of you are getting over a relationship that wasn't working out for you okay um, and even though somebody has brought this message of love to you, I think you're seeing this for what it really is. And this person may be telling you things, but that's not what they're actually showing you. Okay. If that makes sense for some of you, it's like you're now seeing this on a realistic level because this person may not be um, communicating effectively the way that you need to see this person communicate with you it, like for some people um, if you've ever read uh, what is that book it's about relationships okay like your love languages the five love languages some of us really need communication uh, we need to hear things words of affirmation in order to understand that people really love you and I don't know that you've been experiencing that so this feels a lot like leaving this behind this sort of emptiness um, and moving forward because we have the two of cups in reverse. We have the three of cups in reverse. This is not getting wishes fulfilled, but intuitively knowing that this probably isn't what you want or what you're really looking for. Okay. Why do we have foundations and achievements here, please? Oh, I got an extra card. Yeah, here we go. So five of pentacles, <laughs> five of pentacles. This is, you know, wandering, being left out in the cold, separations, things like that. Why? There's definitely something not happening here that's in balance. Okay, so you could be dealing with Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. You could be dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We may have some lying and deception going on here with the Seven of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, again, um, daydreaming, not feeling happy about this, wondering, um, being in the question of like, why can't we get this on equal terms? This is wanting that equal terms, okay? And this is all upside down, guys. This is really crazy because I don't even read cards in reverse and I've got everything sort of reversed here. So the foundations and achievements could be that somebody is moving out, right? Like maybe you got a job and that's the thing you needed to kind of sort of walk away from this relationship, right? But this whole foundation is being shaken. So some of you could have put a lot of energy cancer into somebody who's now showing you it's like not an equal give and take here. And you want that. You want the evil, the the equal give and take. And you may have been giving that, but it comes with no satisfaction. This is, you know, desolation. It's a tree. It's like all the possibility is hanging there. And yet there's nobody here for the possibilities. It's just sort of like waving the white flag here. Like I give up. What am I supposed to do? Somebody is walking away in this situation. Why? Because I think somebody's been a little bit deceptive. They might have even had their mind on somebody else. Okay. That's either you or the other person. Take it as it resonates, guys. You know, I get feedback like, no, I'm the this, I'm the that. And I'm just saying, take it as it resonates. Okay. Let's find out what the throat chakra is here for. Okay, why do we have the throat chakra here, please? Clarify this for my Cancerians. Why do we have the throat chakra here regarding this spread? Oh boy. Ugh. Knight of Wands in reverse. Oof. This is a person with a very volatile personality. Okay, um, it's somebody very in their ego. Okay, Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy. Somebody, again, not being who they say they are, um, displaying a sort of like anger, lashing out, volatility, um, thinking a lot of themselves, not of other people. Okay, so I think that some of you have experienced a lot of arguments 
maybe with the person you're dealing with, all right? This here, three of pentacles, can mean a few different things in the upright Capricorn Virgo Taurus energy. This is wanting to work, okay? Wanting to work, wanting to come together, um, wanting to create partnerships here. And I think many of you are thinking like, how do I work on this? What do I say? This person is a little bit scary to probably talk to. They're not showing up the way, um, you know, I know this person or I felt this person showed up in the beginning. All right. So they may not want to talk or you don't want to talk because this person, when you communicate with them, they're just angry. They're angry about stuff. It's almost like, you know, getting caught with your pants down literally and then being mad at somebody because you got caught with your pants down like how can you be mad at the person who stuck by you you know what i'm saying like yeah so seeking your inner wisdom on this connection right now okay that's what i feel like many of you are really look like trying to tap into like you know, spending time alone, um, this Virgo energy, you know, being alone, trying to enlighten yourself, maybe see things from a different perspective. And this is challenging, right? Because this person is not showing you what you really need to see. You've been trying to heal possibly. I think some of you are trying to heal from, you know, something happening in the relationship people, a person lying to you, or maybe even some sort of cheating, and you're having trouble with that. And maybe even seeing, is it worth it for me to continue in this relationship right now? Because it could be you too. It could be your energy of like the arguments and trying to really like, you know, rile this person up, right? To understand that they made you hurt and it doesn't feel good. but I'm feeling some separation for some of you. Let's go ahead and clarify why we have the judgment here. Okay, why is judgment here? Why is judgment here? Okay, so we've got... <laughs> Ooh, ah, walking away. Um, I think some of you are really... This for you could be about using your better judgment, all right? Given the situation here, I've got Page of Swords in reverse. So I feel like this is like you almost trying to block a message coming through, not wanting to talk to somebody, all right? Feeling upside down in this, the Empress energy. So feeling weak, not feeling yourself. Um, feeling the loss, the loss of abundance, the loss of feeling that... Um, that, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? That fertility. I feel like somebody here very strongly has lost a child. Okay. Maybe a pregnancy, like I said earlier, right? Um, but this is sort of losing yourself. I think in like, um, in like the communication for some of you, I feel like it's like you've been spying or looking at this person or they're spying and looking at you and they're seeing you different or you're seeing this person different. I don't think there's a want to talk here. I don't think there's a want to talk. Somebody wants reconciliation. I think it could be you or the other person, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But then we have the energy of somebody walking away. So I feel like somebody is walking away based on facts in this relationship, based on how your heart feels, walking away from any kind of um, reconciliation here. Because I think it's possible the other person wants to talk. They're feeling really, really bad about themselves, like really bad about themselves. Um, they don't feel beautiful. They don't feel attractive. They don't feel like they have anything to offer here. They've just brought some drama, right? They brought drama in. And yeah, of course, you would base a person off of an incident totally because if somebody's not showing you if they're telling you who they are but not showing you who they are absolutely this is deep contemplation here with the hermit about this this connection do i want to go forward 
this person's either thinking about it with you because you've been arguing and like they're like oh my god you're not who I thought I was or this is the other way around okay guys but what I'm seeing here is like this want to heal reconcile apologize it's like I want to walk away from this I I don't know that I want this anymore but I felt that from the beginning you know praying about it <laughs> trying to trying to like awaken yourself to like what's really real here okay so really really interesting energy guys i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna get some of these grace cards this is what i'm feeling so far from this reading guys i'm gonna take it as it resonates you know your situation you know what's going on with you you know who this could be you know, this could also represent a friendship, too, that there's, like, some soulmate type of friendship that's over for you guys. You just see this person. It was just an unequal give and take here. You know, you kept trying with it. It's just, like, it's just all lies and deception and the same stuff over and over again, okay? But I feel like somebody wants to keep trying here. And that's the interesting thing. And I don't know if it's you or it's them. It's like trying. Somebody feels like they're trying to get over the past here. Okay. And it's been really challenging. Any other messages here? Any other messages here for cancer regarding this spread? Okay. All right, so we have perception. <laughs> this is literally like the hangman card. What did I say? So it says, let me take my glasses off. I can't read with those on. See the past through the lens of grace. All that occurs is designed to support your, our spiritual evolution. Okay. Seeing the past with grace, you know, allowing this to maybe change your perception like i said okay we have affection love yourself you are the ultimate act of creation fashioned by the hands of a divine artist i always feel like when we have incidents like this that kind of bring us to this place like do i forgive do i let go do i move on do i give this a second chance is this person serious do i believe excuse me their words do i believe their actions i always broke when i'm doing this guys you know, sorry. Um, it's ultimately about loving ourselves. Okay. So somebody here could really be missing that self love. They're afraid to let that love in and allow themselves to be consumed by it. You know, this is a person that's like kind of empty in a sense. That's either you or this person, but there's some sort of like, deceit lies trickery going on here and it's causing you know a shake up in the foundation for some of you this is about you loving yourself and choosing yourself based on this past sort of history in a relationship and moving forward right needing to have the important conversations so you can get on with it for others of you i think you're stuck thinking about this how it's affected you um do you want to give this person a second chance okay we then have silence. Yes, especially with that throat chakra card. We have silence. Be still. A daily practice of silence bears gifts. A heightened sensitivity to beauty, deep inner peace, and a profound feeling of connectedness to all living things. And like I said before, with this hermit, that could be you contemplating this connection. Okay, contemplating this connection here. Spending time alone. So that you can make the right decision. And I think many of you might be walking away from this because you're looking for something else that fulfills you. I think you see the truth here now. You see that even though there's all these cups here, it's not worth it for you. It's not worth it. It's time to move on. Okay. Time to move on. All right, guys. So this is the reading I have for you today. I certainly hope that you guys like this reading. Um, and if you did, please go ahead and hit the like button. And if you really liked it, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Guys, I will be back mid-month in July to check in and see where we're at with this and what else might be coming up for you. And until then, take care of yourselves and each other. Wash your hands. Bye.